Very often, we observe our variable as quantitative variables. And later on, we want to convert them into the qualitative variable by giving by chain transforming them into different categories. Or sometimes if you already have a categorical variable and we have given some numeric code to it and we want to convert those numeric code into some other form, we can do it using SPSS. In transform menu, in this module, we will learn how to recode a variable. Let's say, We have a variable age given to us, where age is obtained in years. Here we want to transform this age into three categories. Let's say individuals having age below 30, individuals having age 30 till 50 and individuals having age above 50 years. Using this criteria, we want to transform this age and we want to give it a code 1 for age less than 30, 2 code will be given to the age from 30 till 50 and above 50 we will give a code 3 to the age variable. To do this, we'll go to the transform and we have two options here, recode into the same variable and recode into different variable. Since we know that age variable is a quantitative variable and we want to convert it into some categorical variable, I always suggest to use recode into different variable because if we use recode into the same variable, then the recording will definitely be performed accurately, but existing variable will be deleted and it will be replaced by the new codes that we have used to transform this quantitative variable into some categorical variable. Hence, I would go with recode into a different variable. While we recode into a different variable, first of all, we'll talk about that what variables we want to talk about. Here we want to convert age in years. We bring this variable in and our what will be our output variable. Before we do any operation here, we have to give the output variable. The output variable will be recorded age. And here we can always put the label of this variable. So it is recorded age into a qualitative variable. And once we have put all this information, please do not forget to click on change. Once the change has been cl clicked, you will notice that age arrows recorded age. Once this has been active here, one can go to old and new values command. As you click this hot icon, it will gives you a menu where on the left side, it talks about all old, very old value. And here on the right side, it talks about the new value. In our task, we want to convert an age variable into a quali qualitative variable with certain criteria. And the criteria we are using is that age less than, less than 30 will be considered as category 1, which will be coded as 1. So, we can click on the value, but value will only take one exact value. It won't take the whole range from zero till 30 or less than 30. System missing, 
that any value, if it's system missing in our data, and we want to assign such system values as some code, we'll click on system missing and give it some code right here, or we can take it as system missing. Similarly, system or user missing, if it's by default missing, or we have defined some numeric code for the missing. Sometimes we want to define the range, like in our case, it will include the value given here as well as the value given here. Both the values in this range will be, in, will be included here in this case. But if we click on range lowest through the value, whatever the lowest value will be, it will start from the lowest value through the value we give right here. Since we want to convert our data as below 30 as the code one. So we'll use range lowest through the value. Since we know whatever the lowest is, it could be one, two, three, 10, 20, or whatever. We wanna go to 29.99, since it's a, con it's a continuous variable. So below, below 30 will, not, will mean 29.999 and so on. But in our data, our values are in the whole numbers. So either we would give 29.99 or simply 29 will give, will take account of any value that is below 30. But just to be on the safe side, we'll do 29.99. So all the values which are lower than 29.99 will be given a code one. And you will click add. Similarly, for the next, all of individuals from 30 included through 50 included will be given a code two and click add. Anyone who is above 50, so it will be 50.0001. Any value that is above 50.01 or 0001 will be given a code three and you click add. Any system missing value will be given a system missing code. And we click continue. Again, if we wanna apply this command on some specific group of individuals in our cases, we simply go to the if command and use it the same way we have used it in the compute. But here, we want to record the whole variable age, so we won't put the if condition over here. We simply press OK. As we have done so, in the data view, you can see a new variable recorded age has been created with values one, two, and three. When we transform and record a variable into a categorical variable, SPSS will generate, will create a variable, but it will not assign the value labels to it. So it is very important to write the value labels next to the values. So in our data, one represents age below 30. Two represents age from 30 to 50 both included, and three represents age above 50. And when we say age above 50, it doesn't include exactly 50. It's anything that's above 50. You simply press OK. In our data, there are no decimal places, so I'll keep the decimals to be zero. And hence, this is what it is. Any person that has age from 30 to 50, that will be given a code two. Anyone has age above 50 is given a code three, like here. And similarly, anyone has age less than 30 is given a numeric code of one. And that's what it reflects into our value labels as well. Thank you.